At the test track in Miramar, southern France, BMW recently presented the latest products of its research into alternative drive technologies. Here are three systems currently under development. Number one, hydrogen fuel cell technology, integrated here into a demo vehicle based on the BMW 5 Series Gran Turismo. The hydrogen fuel cell is among the front runners to replace or complement internal combustion. It combines zero emissions with driving comfort, dynamics, and long range capability. Wolfgang Strobel of the Hydrogen Fuel Cell Project explains that fuel cells are interesting because they generate electricity from hydrogen and air. The technology has been in development for more than 20 years. But now it's finally become a practical option to use as a vehicle's main drive system, not least because of the progress made in essential peripheral systems like the high voltage batteries and electric motors from BMW's eDrive development. That all adds up to promising means of powering vehicles. Now, filling up with hydrogen can be a fast and straightforward process. Just take the cap off, connect the fueling nozzle, and start filling the tank. That takes about the same time as filling up with gasoline or diesel. Klaus Bono points out that customers will only buy the cars if they know they can fill up with hydrogen. BMW has launched a program for Germany in conjunction with government and industry that foresees the construction of 50 filling stations. At present, 19 are in service, and Bonhoff seems confident that all 50 will be completed by late 2016. But that's just a first step. A crucial factor in making hydrogen more widely accepted is cooperation with industry to expand the hydrogen station network throughout Germany. Number two, direct water injection into the combustion chamber. Used so far only in motorsports, this technology also has great potential in drive systems for road vehicles. Werner Merle explains that although water is normally used to put out fires, this is an internal combustion engine that puts fire and water together. Water is actually used to enhance the performance of this M4 engine. After passing through the charge air cooler, the intake system injects it into the intake air, where it cools the chamber. The water is atomized, so it'll turn into vapor before entering the intake manifold plenum chamber. The high concentration of the cool gas boosts the performance. This principle has been implemented in the water injection system of this safety car. BMW is integrating the technology in the three-cylinder engine of this volume produced one series. Here, the water isn't just put through the intake system, but directly injected into the combustion chamber. That cools the engine and adds up to lower fuel consumption, especially at full throttle. Vanamella uh, points out that a system can be built with a water tank that the customer can fill up regularly with distilled water, but he sees that as quite inconvenient. BMW is working on a way of recovering the water produced by condensation in the air conditioning, which can be collected in a container. Chemically, this water is ideal for feeding into a water injection system. Number three, the BMW 2 Series Active Tour plug-in hybrid will soon be rounding out the E-Drive range. Patrick Müller elaborates that BMW took the unchanged front part of a 218i and installed a 1.2-liter three-cylinder BMW twin-power turbo engine with 100 kilowatts of power and 220 newton meters of torque. Then they added an electric drive module over the rear axle to bring it up to the performance level of a 225i. In effect, that gives the car all-wheel drive at no extra cost. So, with this alternative, the buyer's getting real added value. BMW is taking a multi-pronged approach that includes efficient gasoline and diesel-powered engines, plug-in hybrids, and soon hydrogen fuel cell drives to take a bite out of CO2 emissions.